So you've been seeing a lot of electronics that we've been doing, um, a lot of other projects. If you look online, you'll see the Sound Laser VR is a project that we're currently working on for Kickstarter. And here's a stack of the wood that we've been cutting out. This was actually a long process to start uh, making because it took a long time to find the right person to do it. And that person is Javier here. Javier has been programming this machine. This is a giant CNC router, just like the one we had in our previous videos. This is just a big industrial version. And we talked about that, that when you're gonna start selling products, you really wanna start looking for a machine that's gonna be able to do parts quickly. And as you can see, this large industrial machine can do our sound laser VR parts really quickly. Javier, you've done a wonderful job, and, and thank you so much for you know being a part of Sound Laser VR because we're excited and we hope we're going to sell a lot of these. And in the future, we're going to show you this machine running and us assembling these. But right now, we've been getting all the parts together, and this is where we're at, and we continue in the process. So you're saying it takes about 20 minutes to cut this out. Uh, yeah. Have you tried just the uh, speaker elements and the amplifier in it? Yeah, I've been trying them, but I've been Okay. I was uh, talking about this holder. This is a really neat thing that you've come up with. And it's, it's really in here, really held well. And we need to hold the part in place because it moves, obviously, with the cutter. So he's made a jig here that he puts on the machine and then it holds the part in place as he cuts the inside out. It's a really cool way of doing things. It looks really good. So he'll take one of these solid blocks that he's already pre-cut, he'll load it into this holder, this jig if you want to call it that, and then he'll cut the center pocket out so that this becomes this. So you can see the difference now. Just like the router that we have, Javier's been writing G-code, the G-code that controls this machine. If you look on the screen here, he's showing you, we can see the different tool paths that the machine's using. The nice thing about this industrial machine is it uses a tool changer so he can have more than one size tool on the machine and the robot will automatically switch the tool for him so he doesn't have to stop or readjust anything, it just runs. And that's the difference between a small prototyping machine and an industrial machine like this that's designed to make a lot of parts quickly.